And one of the hardest things to do in any relationship is to break up, and it's even harder to do so today because it's the digital age. Now, there's a new study out that says that 40% of material that's shared in a relationship is digital. From text messages to photos and videos, they're digital rem remnants of a relationship everywhere we look. So who gets what and how do we really separate when it's time to move forward? On the phone is relationship strategist Denise Gartrell. Denise, how are you? I am fabulous. How are you, Rockman? Amazing. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. And the main question is, who gets the digital stuff? Who gets the videos and the pictures when it's time to call it quits on a relationship? I'm sorry, you said who gets stuff? Yeah, who gets it? Do I get to keep the picture? Does the, your, your girlfriend or boyfriend, does that, does that person, like what happens when you split up, according to this study, that in the, in the digital age, there's so much stuff out there. Like, should you delete stuff at the end of a relationship? Who gets the stuff? Well, you know, the problem with that, Rockman, is that it is actually up to that individual what they do with your um, information or your digital information once that relationship breaks up. Um, one of the issues is that if you – we're finding that if the relationship ends, um, you know, pretty badly, if there is, you know, bad blood between the two parties, sometimes you can leave that information into a person's hand who, hands who is revengeful. And sometimes you really, you really do have to think about that before you basically share that information with someone and you're just in that dating stage. Because you end up in a situation, I guess, we know uh, like that uh, the Ray J and Kim Kardashian situation where you have a tape and one person says, I want my tape, and the other person says, I'm not going to give you the tape, and there it is. So, yeah, you have to be very careful. Um, about that now absolutely the, the other question is and we were having this discussion earlier today and I got to ask you because you're a relationship strategist when it comes to the digital age and having the communication with that person is it ever okay to break up with a text message is it ever okay I would say that if there is a situation where you feel that there may be some type of uh, danger or um, um, some type of outrage or outrage or explosion with this particular individual and you don't really trust that, then the studies have shown that the texting may be a safer way. If you fear for your safety, then yes, texting may be a more appropriate way than, um, you know, seeing this person face to face. Okay, because as I Googled it earlier today, there was, I looked at that there was a, an episode of Sex in the City, and I was Googling and looking and preparing for my conversation with you, and um, the character, Carrie, her boyfriend broke up with her with a post-it. So it kind of led one to believe that post-its or text messages or even emails is not the right way to end a relationship. So that's why... I'm just wondering, but what if things are fine, or, or what if it's, hey, I'm just not feeling you anymore? You still think that it's okay to use the digital media to move on? You know, we are in an age now where, you know, communication is going on. People are doing more communication, or communicating, I should say, actually by texting uh, in a lot of cases, more than they are by phone or by email. So texting is the big thing now. But I do not agree, this is my opinion, expert opinion, that texting is an appropriate way to break up with someone. I think that if you've, especially if you've shared um, special moments with this person, then I do believe that it is at least a way of respectfully saying that, you know, the relationship isn't working out because we're on two different pages. I mean, because you don't have to really be very lengthy with what you're going to say when it comes time to break up with someone, if you right. find it's not working out. But you do want to just sort of give that information, that person, let them know that they're a great person, but the relationship, you're it's just, just not working. different pages, and it's not working. I got you. I got you. Denise, promise you will come back. We do, we're going to have so, I'm sure there are just so many other questions about relationship advice, so we'll be contacting you again. Again, Denise uh, Gartrell, relationship strategist. Now, you can find information about Denise as well as her seminars at morethanawomantome.com. We're going to tweet out her website information so that you can check that out as well.